Brian. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, if you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Everyone has you have the right to ask. Sorry about that. What they want, and you have the right to ask. Okay, let's do it again. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to say yes and no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. I know that card by heart. I don't know. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 713, NASDAQ off 528, SPs off 109. Gold, gold contract up $10.50 trading at 2,483 an ounce. We have silver down 45 cents, 28 dollars 48 cents an ounce. Late sweet crude off a buck 30, 76 dollars 61 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note up 28 ticks, 112.22. The 30 year up a full point plus 24 ticks at 122.17 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 305 ticks at 104.401, Euro 107, yen 149, British pound 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. So, in the world of the SPs, let's go take a look at them here. This has been a one way trip downtown, folks. And, you know, as I was saying a little bit ahead, let me show you this first because you want to really understand what's going on in the world. When we were up this morning, folks, okay, you get, I mean, see these numbers? I want you to look at the number two and number three here. These were the numbers in Europe. The Nikkei was down 2.4% last night. Uh, Hang Seng only two tenths of 1%, and the uh, CSI was six tenths. But the European numbers were, the DAX had already been down. The DAX was down 1.8. It ended up being down 2.3. When we have markets that are up, particularly like we, we were up good, and Europe's down and Asia's down, you know, bottom line, my take on it is that I go against it. I say, it's okay, this thing's going down. So now let's go to the EE Mini, take a look at it. Okay, so we've had a one-way trip all the way down. No bounce whatsoever. Now the real question is coming into the close, because if you can get a 0.382 bounce, you're going to have quite a bounce here, man. The real question is, you know, we're at uh, 5453, and a 0.382 is 5504. <laughs> so that's pretty intense compared to where we are. You're rounding it up right now. We'll see how this thing shakes out. I expect that we'll get at least to, what, 5479. That was the last little blurb we had up there. We go to the NQs. Yeah, that's rounding up too, man. So the NQs, 868 was the low so far. I suspect we're going to get to this uh, 19034. That's where the last bounce was. And there's, there's a little volume there. We'll see. If, I, I suspect they're going to get it going. Because it's very unusual when you do go one way without any type of bounce at all. And what's happening here, what will be really intriguing here, is that if we do get it, folks, what it's going to be all about, it's going to be all about those jobs numbers in the morning. That's what it's going to be about. Because the job numbers come out at 830 in the morning. Um, you know, inside the NDX 100, we take a look at it, was jamming it here. You got Moderna's off 20%. 20% one, look at this, 20%. And then Arms Holdings is off 17%. This is like insane. Lamb Research is off 11%. Qualcomm's off 11%. These are monster numbers, man. Monster numbers. Boy, oh boy, when they go down, they go down, man. Look at this. Arm Holdings, so Arm Holdings in three weeks has just gone from 100 and 88 to 119. Moderna, you're gonna see this thing, man. Right. 
Let's look at this. Man. So in three months, this has gone from 170 to 94. Okay, let's go into the NQs, the futures first. See if they can get something going. Yeah, they're going to try to get something going here, man. We'll see how this shakes out. So I said the first, the first I, I suspect we'll get to the first swing point. That's only 19.034. Be interesting if we can actually get to the second one. If we take a look at this, now this is what you're also, let, let's look at this, because this is where, whoops. Okay, so if we take a look at the cues, what you're gonna see here. So last week, you see last week there we did the 59 million? Well, we're coming into that. You know, two days ago we did the 41. Now we're gonna we're over 41 right now, but you're still dealing with that 59 million. That's what we're dealing with. And this is a last engulfing, by the way. If you're into candlestick charting, what happens is this: is that when you get downdrafts, this is actually a bullish occurrence. That <laughs> you start higher, you get lower, you're coming into another uh, swing point. That's contracting with volume. So I know it's it's that's telling me that we're gonna get another bounce, meaning that. This might be the exhaustion move right here for this. You get another bounce, bounce is on light volume. I don't think, we're, my take is we're not done going all the way down, but we're done with this part of it. I suspect, uh, what's the date here? Okay, one second, we want to do this. Is that, oh yeah, it's perfect, man. Because it's August 1st, right? Yeah, it's gonna be window dressing too. Yeah, yeah, this is. <laughs> This is going to be wild watching how this baby shakes up. Let's go to the gold market and take a look at gold. So gold, the contract itself, it's up 11.90. This is not bad. This is holding up good, man. Particularly for the market that we're in. This is that's they got 200,000 contracts. That's what you need, man. So now we're approaching the highs that have been hard to get taken out with. 206,000 contracts. That's good contract volume, no doubt. Stay right there, folks. Come right back with our man, Mr. Tim Ward, too. We have the Dow Industrials right now uh, down 658. NASDAQ up 487. S&Ps are up uh, 100. Man, you got to love volatility, man. Thank you, God. <laughs> Stay right there, folks. Come right back.